Welcome back to BioEntron's Antibody ABCs. What is affinity maturation? Affinity maturation is the process of improving antibody affinity and binding interactions to target antigens. This is done naturally in vivo by multiple rounds of somatic hypermutation and clonal selection in the germinal center but affinity maturation can also be processed in the lab in vitro through repeated mutagenesis and selection. This is particularly useful for therapeutic applications, where desired antibody activity is crucial. With the in vivo method, from repeated exposure to the same antigen, the host will produce antibodies with increasingly greater affinity, avidity, and antipathogen activity. This is because of somatic hypermutation in variable CDRs, complementarity determining regions, of immunoglobulin genes in B cells. Clonal selection takes place when follicular dendritic cells of the germinal centers present antigens to the B cells, with only the most competitive B cells surviving to stably conjugate with follicular B helper T cells. Likewise, in vitro affinity maturation is used to optimize antibodies, antibody fragments, or other peptides by diversifying the antibody base sequence and isolating higher affinity binders. While different methods exist, site saturation mutagenesis is commonly used in addition to high throughput mammalian cell expression, ELISA, and sequencing to identify hotspots and combinatorial mutation design and characterization. BioIntron focuses on antibody discovery, expression, and optimization. From gene sequence to purified antibodies, it takes just two weeks for recombinant antibody expression. With our self-owned alpaca breeding farm, we offer a one alpaca for one project commitment with unique binders, high diversity, and large capacity. We will also meet your small-scale needs for antibodies, supernatants, and expression plasmids in 4 to 10 days with our RushMab services. We also have several other services, including bispecific antibodies, apucosylated antibodies, single B-cell screening, hybridoma sequencing, antibody optimization, recombinant proteins, choke one stable cell line licensing, and add in vivo catalog products for in vivo research. Thank you for watching and please comment with any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next.